Hello and welcome to this computer music hands-on video. We've partnered with our friends at KV331 Audio to bring you this hands-on look at Synthmaster 1 for iOS, a powerful, portable, easy-to-use, semi-modular wavetable synthesizer. Anyone familiar with Synthmaster 1 for PC or Mac will feel right at home. Aside from 16 voices of polyphony instead of 32, and a few less presets, the iPad version is identical. Synthmaster 1 for iOS features two wavetable oscillators, plus a sub-oscillator for each. There's two multi-mode resonant filters, two amp envelopes, two mod envelopes, and three LFOs, a powerful arpeggiator and step sequencer, mind-blowing effects, routing section and 12-slot mod matrix, and much more. Plus, presets can be quickly transferred from the desktop version to the mobile app, and vice versa. Synthmaster 1 for iOS is a standalone app and can also be used as an AU version 3 plugin in iOS stores such as Cubasis, Aurea and GarageBand. In this video, we'll show you how to get up and running with this iPad Power Synth. For even more info, check out our previous hands-on video, which covers how to use the near-identical PC and Mac plugin version. Synthmaster 1 for iOS is available now from the App Store. It works on iPad Air and above. Head to KV331 Audio's website for more info. Section 1. Presets and Overview To begin, let's call up Synthmaster 1 for iOS on an iPad Pro and audition some of the factory presets. We'll hit this Browse button. You can filter presets by instrument type, music style, preset author or bank name. Interface parameters highlighted white are being modulated. Parameters highlighted orange are already assigned to a MIDI CC. Tweak parameters like wavetable index, filter and envelopes. And the routing window is populated with visual feedback. By default, the synth comes with 300 factory presets. If you complete the registration process, you get 200 extra presets, or 500 if you already own the desktop version. And you also get a discount coupon that you can use to purchase any KV331 Audio desktop product. Section 2, Keyboard and Settings. Down here at the bottom is the Synth's 2 octave keyboard, plus pitch and mod wheels. Change the current octave with the buttons. You can also highlight notes in a chosen key and scale. Tap the scales drop down and choose one of the many keys and scales. We're going to choose F minor. <laughs> Toggle the hold button to hold played notes. And hit expand to pop out the keyboard into a full screen mode. In the settings, you can define how the horizontal and vertical motion of your finger swipes will affect the resulting sound. When X-axis controller is set to scroll, press a key and swipe left or right to change octaves as you play. Or set it to pitch bend, then press and swipe horizontally to bend pitch at an amount determined by the current pitch bend range up and down values. Set the Y-axis controller to either Velocity, Mod Wheel or Aftertouch. Then vertical note swipes will transmit the corresponding MIDI data. Synth 
Duke Master 1 also supports MPE, facilitating three-dimensional playing. To turn this on, toggle the MPE Enable the button. If you prefer to play using proper keys, Synthmaster 1 can receive MIDI input. Simply connect a MIDI keyboard to your iPad and select it from the Settings menu. You can connect any regular USB MIDI keyboard using the Apple Camera Connection Kit, but here we've connected IK Multimedia's iRig Keys I.O. Any knob or slider on the synth can be connected to a MIDI controller's physical knob or slider via MIDI Learn. And you can sync the synth to Ableton Live via Bluetooth by toggling the Ableton Link button found here in the settings menu. Section 3 Synthesis Next, let's move on and build a patch from scratch. To initialize the synth, tap in the top bar and select Init Preset. You'll find the synth's sound generating oscillators here in the top left. Both oscillators also feature a sub oscillator. Standard virtual analog synths output basic sine, triangle, sawtooth and square waveforms. And Synthmaster 1 for iOS can handle subtractive synthesis without breaking a sweat. Each of the two oscillators can operate in up to 16 voice stereo unison mode. For thick wide supersaws. However, a wavetable synth like Synthmaster 1 gives you plenty more scope for creating interesting sounds. A single wavetable oscillator is packed with multiple waveforms that can be scanned through using the index knob. Select one of the many onboard wavetable oscillators from the dedicated menu. The center 3D display shows wavetable position in real time. Loads of preset wavetables are here, analog sampled, waveform collections, organ-like timbres, modern digital styles and more. Let's wobble this index value automatically using one of the synth's three customizable LFOs. Drag and drop is the easiest. Drag the source's name over to the destination knob like this. Assigned parameters like this are highlighted white so you can see what's being modulated at a glance. Modulation can also be set up and refined in the 12-slot mod matrix. Other hidden modulators such as random sources are only accessible this way. You can scan across to reveal all the 12 slots. In the first slot we can see our LFO1 to Oscillator1 wavetable index assignment. Adjust this knob here to refine the amount of positive or negative modulation. We can customise the LFO's response in the panel here. We'll change the LFO's wave shape and speed. Now the wavetable is moving on its own, let's pop open the FX panel. Six effects can be placed in series. Tap and hold a slot to select one of 11 effects. We're going to dial in some delay and reverb here. Now for tone shaping. Synthmaster 1 has two multi-mode resonant zero delay feedback filters with various drive options. Tap the type drop-down and select one from the list. Cutoff can be quickly modulated by LFO 1 or 2 or Mod Envelope 1 or 2 using these handy parameters here. We'll use the Synth's first Mod Envelope to sweep open cutoff. Down here in the Mod Envelope settings, we'll raise attack so the cutoff is now slowly swept open with each new note press.
To finish our quick tour, let's get the powerful 16-step arpeggiator and sequencer involved. Tap to open its tab, then pop it full screen by pressing the magnifying glass. Use the drop-downs to select a mode. Classic arpeggiator modes are available. Here you can also set the number of steps, octave range, bass time, repeat amount and velocity control. These knobs determine swing amount and step duration. Sequence, chord and arpeggiate modes are Synthmaster 1's unique ARP options. Sequence mode is especially cool. You can tap in chord notes. Plus slide and hold values. Alternatively, you can record in sequencer notes via MIDI input. Once your preset is finished, punch the Save button up top to store it. There are obviously tons more synthesis features we haven't covered here, so make sure you refer to our Synthmaster 1 for desktop hands-on video and the included PDF manual for more details. Section 4. Porting Presets Synthmaster 1 presets, waveforms and wavetable files are completely interchangeable. Create a sound or wavetable on the move, on your iPhone or iPad. Upload it via iCloud, AirDrop, Mail or other iOS apps. Then load the patch in the desktop plugin for deeper editing on your computer. And vice versa, if you created your own custom presets, waveforms and wavetables in the studio, you can throw these presets over to your iPad. And perform or edit away from the computer. Section 5, Audio Units Compatibility Synthmaster 1 for iOS can also be used as an Audio Units version 3 plugin within iOS doors such as GarageBand, Aurea and Cubasis. Here's Synthmaster 1 loaded up in GarageBand. Here in GarageBand you can choose one of four different Synthmaster 1 interface types iPad Small or Large and iPad Pro Small or Large. Synthmaster 1 for iOS also supports inter-app audio and audio bus. So that's all for this video. Synthmaster 1 for iOS is available now from the App Store. It costs $19.99. Head to the KV331 Audio website for more info.